Hi, this is Phil Constantine with Travels with Phil. This video contains several of my videos and photos. And also, just a reminder, if you'd like to get all of my uh, videos, just subscribe by clicking on the button on the bottom right-hand side. All right, let's go. I believe it's April 5th, Carlsbad Caverns. This is a diagram of the uh, facility. This is where I am right now, up there. Come all the way down, or you walk down. There's the natural entrance. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Or you can take the elevators. This is the big room. It takes about an hour and a half to walk through that. Self-guided now. Ten dollars to get in today. And if you've got one of those senior passes, it's free. Unlike Mammoth Cave, they don't charge to take you in. And then the various rooms. This is the natural entrance. You can see some lights there in the back a little bit. This is the natural entrance, although they've you know, put the zigzag trails to get in here. Uh, it's uh, early, early April. There are a few bats here from about mid-April. For several months, the bats really come in and out of here uh, just around sunset to go out and feed on insects. Uh, I might try to do that a little bit later today. But starting a trip down into Carlsbad Caverns. Travels with Phil still in the Carlsbad Caverns. You can see some mice in the pillow spots. People walking in front of the lights as you go down the zigzags once you're inside. Just a little bit ago, these lights here. You could have, there you can see just a little bit of it, maybe. The moisture passing in front of them, it's, it's humid in here. Bright light down there, somebody's got their light on showing the way for folks. There you go, stalactites. Some up there on top. Now, because this isn't a very well lit cave as far as lighting is concerned for photography and videography, uh, the pictures you're going to see inside are going to be different than what you see with your own eyeballs. So you may have to do a little processing to make the actual pictures look the same as the way you remember it. So that's what I've done with these uh, still photos that you see here and had to do that a little bit to the uh, video as well. The, my uh, camera was not set up for low light conditions. So as you walk th down through here, you will notice lots of spots out there. And if you don't bring lights, just don't get too upset about it you'll be able to work on it uh, home with some uh, photo processing software. Now, when you make it inside the cave, while it's not going to be uh, hot, it is definitely going to be very humid in some spots, and that's because of all the leaking fluid that comes down from the ceiling. And the good thing about that is it creates the stalactites and the stalagmites, so at least you do have some positive effect from uh, that humidity being inside the air. So here's some pictures. Well, there you go. Now you can see some of the condensation the moisture in the air just above this light. You can really feel the humidity. You can hear the dropping every once in a while. In the Hall of Giants. Now the big column you see in front of me, 62 feet high. It goes all the way up. A couple more. Twin demons. Or twin domes, I'm sorry. And then just more and more and more. And this is all part of the big room. Travels with Phil continues. This kind of formation is often called bacon. Still in the big room. Cross back caverns. Back here. This is the main room. And this section you see here, in this entire area around here, this is a big, 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 big chunk of gypsum. Could be as much as 15 feet. You see these grooves here? Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit when I get too wiggly. The, uh, acidic waters that are dripping off the ceiling eat away at the gypsum. And so like, this is sort of like the inverse or reverse of uh, stalagmites. It's literally making channels in the rock instead of building up rock. 
My distant cousin Will Rogers once said that uh, Carlsbad Caverns is the Grand Canyon with a roof on it. <laughs> I like that. It's about 30 miles long as uh, one of the, well, about the fifth largest chamber inside of it in North America, at least that case. Now, the park itself actually has well over 100 caves in it. One of those is uh, Lechuguilla, which is the uh, deepest, deepest gypsum cave in the United States. It's the seventh longest in the world at 138 miles so far. They're still exploring that one. It didn't really get developed until like 1986 and it's about 1600 feet deep so there's all kinds of stuff that you can see uh, not only just here in Carlsbad but in the surrounding area there's two other caves that they do that are in the park that they do allow the public into it's not quite as developed as or nowhere near as developed as Carlsbad is but you can still walk through there on some uh, basic trails but you do have to take uh, or go along with an official tour there provided by one of the uh, rangers Water under the water, light under the water. You can see it. All right. The other side as well, just not so deep. The Dolls Theater. Now that opening, I would say, is maybe three, four feet high, something like that. Yeah. The long skinny tubes coming down are sometimes called straws or soda straws. Lots of things in here related to food. Very interesting. Now, something a lot of people don't know is that uh, most of these caves that were discovered in New Mexico were originally used to get fertilizer, which are bat droppings, and uh, they weren't used for exploring. Uh, Carlsbad, you were actually lowered down in a big bucket, uh, so the story goes, when the original uh, tourist came here to visit. So it's uh, it's an interesting experience, uh, spelunking uh, the ex exploration of cave. I've done it in lots of other caves, really enjoyed doing it, but uh, Carlsbad is just such a, a dramatic uh, look at what's going on underground, be it from erosion or uh, sulfuric acid. It's just amazing the shapes that you get. Thank you very much for watching my, uh, this video, combination of different clips. Uh, you can always subscribe to my channel. Just click on that button over on the far right-hand side in the corner. Thanks a lot. Bye.